In this final section, we are going to combine all of our previously gained knowledge and experience with Nmop to map and then gain access to the whole network. We are going to first learn about the network's overall security posture by scanning every host and searching for services that might be vulnerable. We are then going to use other tools of the Nmop suite, such as uh, NCAT, NPINK, and NCRAC, to conduct our assessment. We will also exploit the popular shell shock vulnerability and demonstrate how an attacker could take advantage of unpatched servers to perform remote code execution and gain access. We are also going to elevate our local privileges to root by exploiting unpatched systems. In this video, we are going to first map our network and then start looking for vulnerabilities in the discovered services for each host, one by one. We will also be using NCRAC to brute force SSH, and then we are going to remotely execute code by exploiting the shellshock vulnerability. Let's do an Nmap scan of all the hosts in the local network range by scanning all ports. Uh, without specifying any service scanning now, so that the scan gets done faster. We also specify the verbosity uh, level, so that Enma prints the ports as they get discovered. And then we also excluded our own host from scanning. And finally we save the output to a file for future reference. Let's start our scanning. So we can see the discovered ports as Nmop scans them. So we discovered an SSH port on this host. So we are going to use NCRAC against it in an attempt to brute force its credentials. We are using the minus F switch so that NCRAC stops when it finds a valid pair of credentials and the passwords first switch to iterate the password list for its username instead of the default, which is the reverse. We'll fire up NCRAC and we'll leave it running. Another useful tool of the Nmap suite is the NPINK packet crafting tool, which similar to the popular HPINK 3, Let's you create any custom protocol packet and send it to the network. For example, we could create a simple TCP SYN packet and send it against one of our live identified uh, targets as a quick way to test one of its ports. The options are pretty intuitive. Minus minus TCP for TCP, SYN for the SYN flag, port 80. For that specific port, the IP address, and the number of packets we want to send, which is just one in this case. We can see the SYN packet being sent to the host we specified, and the reply from the host, which is a SYNAC packet, because uh, port 80 was open. Let's go back and see how NCRAC did now. So, NCRAC already found valid credentials for this host. The info account with a pretty easy password, 123123. And the whole cracking session lasted 24 seconds. Let's now run another popular tool to perform a quick and dirty assessment of the web server we just identified. We run Nikto against our target host and we find something that is quite interesting. This line here. This endpoint on the website hosted on our host appears to be vulnerable to the very famous uh, Salsoc vulnerability. Keep in mind that there is also an NSC script uh, for detecting the shell shock uh, vulnerability, but the way it works is different than Nikto's way of identifying it. 
Let's see a few things about Shalsok now. As Mikhail Zaleski nicely explains in his blog, the problem is caused by uh, an obscure feature that allows bus programs to export function definitions from a parent cell to children's cells. A common scenario where that uh, would be exploited is when servers such as uh, Apache are configured to use CGI or PHP scripts that use bus to process some part of the request. In those cases, environment variables like HTTP cookie or HTTP user agent will usually be initialized with the raw values in their original uh, request. And if those values begin with the parenthesis curly bracket, then it is possible to remotely execute code using this trick in vulnerable versions of Bash, which is almost every version up to 4.3. So let's go ahead and craft an HTTP request that will try to execute code on the vulnerable endpoint that Nikto identified. Uh, before we do that, we will start an NCAT listening on a local arbitrary port so that we execute a reversal on the host. NCAT is the modern and more flexible version of the old venerable NetCAT and is also part of the NMAP suite. We will be using CURL to craft an HTTP request on which the user agent uh, will have our code that will try to exploit the possibly vulnerable bash version. You can see the trick we explained previously. Our purpose is to execute a reverse shell that will connect our own NCAT session listening on port 4444. Let's go ahead and try that. And success. We got a shell with the same privileges as the web server. The user www minus data. Uh, you can see that we can freely execute any command on the remote system. So. The only thing left to do for this host is to gain access to the root account by escalating our privileges. In this video, we initially mapped the target network and began exploiting it in a variety of ways. 